Welcome to Adelaide, Australia. This is the live broadcast of the official opening ceremony and allocation draw for the Virtual Eurovision Song Contest 2022. Here are your hosts at Adelaide Town Hall. They are Elizabeth Pierce and William Wall. This is it, we're finally here. Adelaide, you've waited for us. Yes, it's such a strange thing to say, but Eurovision has reached Australia. And of course, we're very happy about it. And it all starts today, or rather tonight, because with the time zone difference, we have about 3 a.m. here now. Oh, God, I'm really sleepy. Okay, that's not the point. It's about tonight's draw. After all, it's just at the end of it that we'll know which country will be performing in which semi-final, or rather, in which half of those semi-finals. Time to get to the rules. Wait a bit, I think you're in a hurry. I realize of course that everyone here wants to sleep, but we shouldn't deviate from established traditions. Every dog has his day. And as we know, the first word at the allocation draw always goes to the representative of the host city, in effect Adelaide this year. And right now, we're ready to give the floor to Adelaide's parliamentary spokesperson, the lovely Layla Green. Layla, please, the microphone is yours. Yes, thank you very much. It's a great honour for our city to host such a large-scale competition like the Eurovision Song Contest. I don't want to take up too much time, so I'll quickly tell you just the essentials. As you probably know, the Virtual Eurovision Song Contest 2022 will be held at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre in May this year. Yes, we've been preparing for this moment for pretty much the whole year since year one last year. The logo and slogan for this competition has recently been unveiled which is Space Adventure. I really hope that it will be an exciting adventure that will stay in your memory. As the organiser of the event, I can assure you that everything goes according to plan and to the schedule so everything should go well. We have really wanted to win for a long time. And believe me, now that we are finally holding this event, we will do everything in our power to make sure it goes at the highest level. I would like to wish good luck to all the participants, and I remind you that there are 43 countries. And remember, victory is not the main thing. The main thing is to keep the message you want to send to the world. And when we will know the winner in May, I hope it will be a worthy successor. Thank you all. Thank you very much too, Madam Green. But Adelaide will host the virtual Eurovision Song Contest later this year. For starters, let's look back at last year, when our country won. Australia. 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 Two hundred and thirty two points. Which means Australia is the winner of Eurovision 2021. Congratulations.
Well now we should get down to the main part of our draw, and I should remind you that this is the distribution of all the countries participating in the semi-finals into these semi-finals. As well as into the halves of each semi-final in which they will be competing. There are a total of 37 countries that will start their participation in this year's virtual Eurovision Song Contest 2022 from the semi-final stage. The other six countries will automatically qualify for the finals. You may ask who these are. And while previously last year's winner country and the big five countries that is, the United Kingdom, Italy, Spain, Germany and France were automatically qualified for the final, starting this year the rules have changed slightly. From now on, every country will be able to reach the final without reaching the semifinals. First, as before, you can just win last year's competition, and Australia did, so it will automatically qualify for this year's grand final. All the other countries qualify for the finals based on our ranking. Yes, we have created a special ranking. It takes into account the results of each country for the last five years. That means that this year the results from 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020 and 2021 will be taken into account. Next year, the result of the 2022 competition will be added to them, but the result of 2017 will not be taken into account. And based on the results of this ranking, the top five countries automatically qualify for the finals. This year's top five are as follows, Italy, Sweden, Australia, Norway and Cyprus. Accordingly, these five countries will go on to the grand final. But as Australia is the winner of last year's competition and automatically qualifies for the grand final, its place will be taken by the sixth country, Bulgaria. Thus, Australia, as the winner of the previous year's competition, Italy, Sweden, Norway, Cyprus and Bulgaria, as leaders of the special ranking, automatically qualify for this year's grand final. I hope you have understood something. I think that even if someone doesn't understand something, he or she will understand it during our draw. I suggest we move on to talking about the rules. Yep. We have six pots. There are six countries in each of them, except for the first, which has seven countries in it. As the draw progresses, we will draw one country from each pot. We will then pull out a piece of paper that says which half it will perform in. In the first round, the countries qualify for the first semi-final, in other words, the first country from each pot will compete in the first semi-final, the second country from each pot will compete in the second, the third country again in the first, and so on. But let's not forget that there is something we need to do before then. Yes, William, you are right. We have to distribute the countries that automatically qualify for the grand final between the two semi-finals, in which they will be voted in. And I suggest we do that right now. Let's do that. In that case, we'll have to talk a little bit about the rules again. It's much simpler than that. We have six countries that are not in the semi-finals, but are voting. We need to distribute them into two semi-finals, which means that in each semi-final there will be three countries voting from this list. First, we will open the envelope with the country and then with the number of the semi-final in which it will vote. And so, we will do it six times. At the end, we will find out who will vote in which semi-final. Let me remind you, we have six countries that automatically qualify for the final. These are Australia, Italy, Sweden, Norway, Cyprus, and Bulgaria. Are you ready? Okay, let's see which is the first country. And this is... Australia. Ha, huh, that's us. You've ruined all the intrigue. Well, Australia will be voting in the first semi-final. Shall we move on? Yeah, we're moving on. The second country is... Cyprus. And Cyprus will vote in semi-final number two. Can you guess the next country? No. Can you at least try? No. Okay, then I'll try. I think the next country will be Sweden. You clearly have a problem with intuition. I'm so sorry. The next country is Italy. At least I got the continent right. You betcha. Italy will be voted in in the first semi-final. 
The next country up next is Sweden. See how close I was. Congratulations on that achievement. Sweden, you will vote in the second semi final. Next, Norway. Can't you at least try to guess the semi final number in which she will vote? It's much easier that way, just two numbers. I already said I'm not playing your games. Phew. Norway will vote in semi final number two. Well, that leaves one country. Want me to guess which one? Elizabeth, please stop trying to guess everything here. This isn't a TV game. The sixth country is Bulgaria. And Bulgaria will vote in the semi final number one. OK. All the countries that automatically qualify for the finals are allocated. That means it's time to move on to the main part of our draw. Right now, on your screens, you can see the entire list of countries that are participating in the semi-finals. You can see them in the pots from which we are going to draw them. As a reminder, there are six pots in total. So, I'll try to explain very quickly, but as clearly as possible. We have two semi-finals. In each of the semi-finals, there are two halves. We also have 37 countries to be distributed. You may ask, how are we going to allocate them? It's very simple. Our draw will consist of six stages. During the first stage, I will draw one country from each pot while Elizabeth decides the half of the semi-finals in which that country will perform. This is how we will decide on the first semi-final. In the next round we will switch semi-finals, meaning that each country I get in the next round will compete in the second semi-final and so on until we run out of countries. I realize that this is probably very hard to understand by ear, so let's put it all to the test. Here we go. Yeah, you've got it all wrapped up. Okay, I think we should really get to the main episode of the draw today. And you're actually starting. Yeah, you're quite right, and I'm ready to get the first country for tonight. Okay, and the first country is Bosnia and Herzegovina. As a reminder, the country returned to the contest this year. As they say, welcome back. Uh, I will do my best to help ensure the country's successful return. Bosnia and Herzegovina will perform in the first half of the first semi-final. I can't even imagine if that's the way you try your best. Ha ha, how funny. I said I would try, not do. Okay. Bosnia and Herzegovina will perform in the first half of the first semi-final. Let's move on. The second country, it's from the second pot and it's Finland. I'm sending Finland to the second half of the first semi-final. Well, now we need to find out where Israel will go. Okay. Same place. Israel will go to the second half of the first semi-final. Okay, we're moving on to the fourth country, and that's San Marino. It's the first half where San Marino is going to perform. Two more countries left in this round and the fifth country is Belgium. This year Belgium is the first country to submit a contestant. Yeah, you're right. And apparently the number one follows it, because the country that is the first to submit a contestant this year goes to the first half of the first semi-final. Well, and the last contestant to go to the first semi-final in the first round is Iceland. Iceland will compete in the first half of the first semi-final. All right, and now we move on to the second round and therefore to the second semi-final. All the countries that will be allocated during this phase will go on to the second semi-final. We can begin. 
Country number seven is North Macedonia. Okay, now let me tell you which semi-final and which half of the semi-finals North Macedonia will be competing in. They will perform in the second half of the second semi-final. We are moving on and the next country is Latvia. Latvia, you will perform in the second half of the second semi-final. And no need to be thankful. Can I be modest? The next country already number 9 is Georgia. Georgia will perform in the first half of the second semi-final. All right, let's move on to the next country, Romania. Romania. You're also going to the first half of the second semi-final. Country number 11 is the United Kingdom, the first country from the former Big Five today, and which half of the second semi-final will perform? The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland will perform in the second half of the second semi-final. Oh my god, it's official. How could it not be? Their flag is even on ours. And we've reached the last country in this round. Let's find out who it will be. The twelfth country is Austria. And let me just spell out which half they'll be performing in. Austria, you will perform in the second half of the second semi-final. Okay, we have decided on 12 countries and there are now 6 countries in each semi-final. Now we go back to the first semi-final and now we will define the next 6 countries for that semi-final. So, the next country is... Serbia. Serbia will perform in the second half of the second. Or sorry, first semi-final. The next country is Poland. Poland goes to the first half of the first semi-final. Fewer and fewer countries remain. Okay, the next country is Armenia. Just over a month ago, the country won the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2021. And now the next edition will take place in Armenia. Armenia, you'll be performing in the second half of the first semi-final. I think they're excited. Next country, and that'll be Malta. Okay. Now let's decide on the semi-final half for Malta. And that's the second half. The last one. No, not last, the penultimate country in this round is... Spain. And another X big 5 country. So, Spain are ready to perform in the second half of the first semi-final. And now the last country in this round is Denmark. Denmark will compete in the first half of the first semi-final. And here we are again pulling out a country from pot 6, which means it's time for us to go back to pot 1 and move back to the second semi-final. So, the next country to go to the second semi-final is Slovenia. Slovenia will be competing in the second half of the second semi-final. All right, the next country to go is Estonia. Estonia goes to the second part of the second semi-final.
What an interesting situation we have in the second semi-final, only three places left in the second half, with only two places taken in the first. An interesting coincidence, a probability, I don't know what to call it. Actually, I get distracted, and the next country is Turkey. Turkey will participate in the first half of the second semi-final. Okay, the fourth pot and Moldova. Moldova goes after Turkey in the first half of the second semi-final. Portugal are next. Portugal goes to the second half of the second semi-final. Well, the last country in this round is the Netherlands. It wasn't that long ago that the country hosted the competition. Although, come to think of it, it wasn't that long ago that Portugal hosted the competition either. Well, the Netherlands will perform in the first half of the second semi-final. And so I'm ready to go back to the first semi-final again, and at the moment there are two countries in each pot, except for the first one, which still has three countries in it, because there were originally more there. Good. The next country is... Croatia. Croatia will appear in the second half of the first semi-final. Great. We're moving on, and next up is the Czech Republic. Where will the Czech Republic perform? The Czech Republic will also perform in the second half of the first semi-final. Okay, let's move on to the next country and it's Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan will perform in the first half of the first semi-final. So, three more countries in this round. Ukraine. Ukraine will take part in the first half of the first semi-final. The next country is Ireland. Two places left in the first half and one in the second half. Where will Ireland go? You will perform in the first half of the first semi-final. And then there is one last country in this round. Only Germany and Switzerland are left in this pot. And Switzerland will be competing in the first semi-final. And now I'll find out which half Switzerland will be competing in. In the first half of the first semi-final. As you can see, we have one full round left and at the very end we will just confirm which country from the first pot will be participating in the first semi-final because it will be the only one left. Now we will have to get the countries for the second semi-final and accordingly find out who will be in which half of this semi-final. So, Montenegro. Montenegro will compete in the second half of the second semi-final. Great. The next country in this round and it's Lithuania. Lithuania goes to the first half of the second semi-final. The country from the third pot and that is Russia. Russia will compete in the second half of the second semi-final.
the next country is Greece. Greece will appear in the first half of the second semi-final. The last country in the fifth pot and that's France. They were third last year. Yes, a fine performance by Barbara Pravi. France will appear in the first half of the second semi-final. And the last country in this stage is Germany. Germany will perform in the first half of the second semi-final. As already said, we only have one side left for the last round, because there were initially seven countries in the first pot, not six like in the others, so let's just confirm it and that's Albania. No surprises there. Albania will appear in the second half of the first semi-final. This was the last country for tonight. Our allocation draw has come to an end and you can see the results right now on your screens. Now each country knows in which semi-final it will perform and even in which half of that semi-final it will perform. The complete order of performances will be traditionally published after all the songs from the upcoming contest have been released. Yes, because it's being put together by the competition organizers to make the show more exciting and entertaining. By the way, we also found out in which semi-finals the countries who automatically qualify for the final will vote, including this year's host country, Australia. And you can see it on your screens now too. Well, mission accomplished and I think we can end what has been a lovely evening for some, for others a day. Yes, of course, but first we must thank everyone who watched our draw. We're really pleased, but of course, we'll be even happier if you stay with us and watch the virtual Eurovision Song Contest 2022 when it comes out. And that will be really soon. Thank you very much, everyone. That's all.